What's up, what's up guys? It's Nate and I'm back today with the OGR wing kit for the Jeep Comanche. I want to give you guys a quick DIY on how to get this thing together. It comes in six pieces, it's 3D printed and you're going to have to do a little bit of work to get it onto your car. Now, I made it a specific way with these custom molded end caps so they basically just pop right on. Um, it's a perfect fit for these end caps right here and everyone's body is pretty much the same right here. Now, where it differentiates is the tailgate, because these tailgates take a lot of abuse over the years. This one, for instance, has a big old dent in it. So, these gate kits come in four pieces. As you assemble it, you'll put it on, you'll take your sections, you'll place them on the gate, and what you're able to do since I made them in individual sections and out of a PETG plastic that you can heat up with a heat gun, you can take this, heat up your inner edges right here, get them nice and hot, nice and soft, and then stick it down on the gate. You're gonna stick it on the gate and you're gonna bend it down and you're gonna push it down until it fits and meets this end cap perfectly. And you're gonna do it for the first piece, second piece, third piece, fourth piece, and you're gonna match it up to your end caps and make your whole wing flush. Once you have it molded to your gate, whether your gate's bent in the middle or has a big dent in it like the top of this one does, perfect example, everything's gonna line up flush, it'll be custom molded, custom fit, and then you can bond it on with either double-sided tape, body sealant, like a seam sealer, or just mold these suckers right in. Attach them however you want, self-tap them, I don't care. So I'll show you guys what to do here. You're gonna need one of these bad boys. We're gonna heat up these pieces. We're gonna mold them to this gate real quick and we're gonna get it all lined up and show you guys the sauce. Let's get into it. So guys, I think the best way to go about showing you this is to just do a piece for you so you can get the hint of what I've done and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna heat this piece up and I'm gonna get it ready to bend down. You see how it's high right now? I'm gonna bend it down, fit it to the gate, and it's gonna be flush with your end cap, okay? So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so we got it nice and hot. It's nice and soft. We're gonna go ahead and stick it here onto the gate. And look, it just falls right down into place. So we're gonna match this up right here. We got this one on. We got this piece on. We got it lined up really nice. We got it lined up really nice. So it's, it's really easy. It basically just falls into place with the heat. Uh, look at that. Yep, lines right up. So now we can go ahead and we can do our other three pieces and we'll match them. And then you can go ahead and bond the four pieces together in the middle and then you can, you know, use your uh, filler primer and such and paint it and do whatever you want to do to it. So let's go ahead and do these other three pieces and then we'll take a look at everything. Okay so now we got all our pieces down and lined up super nice. You're just gonna have to bond your sections together now and then just go ahead and do your regular you know body working that you would do to any wing. Um, I spent about 10 minutes doing this just now so I didn't trim this all the way and this is pretty flush this isn't bad so if you spend like you know more than 10 minutes on this maybe an hour maybe an afternoon to spend uh, you know depending on your skill level you can get this super dialed in so now you're gonna have to like I said Bond your pieces together with whatever method you want to do. You can glue these together. Um, you can actually use the heat gun to stick these together, but you got to be really careful so you don't bend anything too much. But um, there are going to be slight gaps here sometimes. So you can heat this up and actually push the pieces together. Pro tip and eliminate the gap. Um, everything should line up really, really nice. And you should be able to glue everything and get everything lined up properly. So, like I said, I didn't, I didn't trim that there, the, the footing. But you should be able to get everything dialed in really, really well. You see, just get it all lined up. Anyways, 
Hope you guys are digging the wing. This is basically the guts on how to get it installed. You're gonna stick your end caps down first, then you're gonna heat everything up and push it on and mold it to your gate. And actually, you can see right here, there's a big bump from my gate. There's a big dent under here. And it was still able to accommodate for that. So just heat up your piece until it's super pliable right there on the dent and then push it on. It's actually nice this way because it'll fit on anyone's jacked old tailgate and it looks awesome. It looks freaking sick. So anyways, hope you guys like this, man. Hope you guys are digging the wing. Hope you guys are digging the parts that are coming out. Again, I 3D printed these to get them out to you ASAP. Everything else is in mass production right now. And man, this stuff is just sick. I mean, look at the fit on this. Look at the, the custom molding I did to the body. Hope you guys really enjoy this stuff. And I hope to see you guys rocking some wings soon on your, tr on your trucks, man. Even on this 4x4, it looks sick. Quit playing. This thing looks crazy right now. So anyways, see you guys on the next one. Peace.